What's up, y'all? What's up, 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 Long time no see. Long time no see. What's good? I, I miss y'all. And I hope y'all miss me too. Because I got a whole, a whole, whole, whole lot of stuff to talk about. I got a whole lot of stuff to talk about. And I'm excited. So I hope y'all are excited too. I ain't even come on here with no music. I'm just so excited. Okay, come on. So, I've added this new part to the show where I'm going to do hot takes. So, a couple of little tiny hot topics or things we've seen on the internet this week or lately. I'm going to do that in the beginning and then I'm going to go on to do the topics that are on the flyer. If that's all right with y'all. Oh, y'all, my mic. <laughs> y'all, okay, this is what I was doing. I was untangling the mic, right? And then I was like, damn, it's like 1235. Like, I lied. And, you know, I be trying, like, I'm trying to get better with doing the shows when I say I'm going to do them. You know what I mean? Like, I already said it's going to be 12. I already said it's going to be yesterday. But you know what? Who's counting? Um, so, yeah. We're going to start with hot takes. And move on along the show while I'm trying to untangle this motherfucking mic because the show must go on or whatever you get what I'm saying okay so let's start handy daddy notes oh handy daddy notes can you see him handy daddy notes um okay so let's start with golden's birthday post to Jada I don't I think I gotta take my fucking Thank off. So let's start with this chair. I <laughs> I on God's green earth would never and you don't ever have to either, ma'am. <laughs> don't wish me happy birthday. I don't I'm not gonna wish you happy birthday. And that's just how it's gonna go. I mean, I just feel like and anytime it's some shine on Jada, she has to have a part of it. Like, could you go away? Could you could you please let me have my moment? Like, it's bad enough we share the same baby father and then here you wanna go. Here you wanna go. I'm just like uh, and Jada didn't repost her or anything. I mean, I don't know if she tagged her or it's just a picture of her. I don't know. Is that like a Jada fan page? picture because that's not Jada's name on Instagram so I'm just like okay and your purpose was all right now I just feel like she did this and then baby did this You know I live. I live for Miss Waiter. So you know, <laughs> you know I love me some Jada motherfucking Waiter. Jada Waiter is that girl. Happy birthday, Miss Waiter. Miss Jada Cheese, per baby. You get what I'm saying? I just feel like that's just that. Like even if it wasn't meant, even if it wasn't meant to be, like a a jab it's funny because you did that whole paragraph and then he posted this girl after you've been being weird for months why you being weird to me you've been being weird for months playing his music all this other stuff now apparently i used to date somebody in the nfl i didn't expect more out of baby's post honestly i haven't seen him post her like this the past years so I appreciated this. They're not on vacation together. Jada's just with her friends, which we're going to get to Jada's friends, too. 
I feel like everybody's been a little weird. I feel like where's Austin Al? I feel like where's Dez when everybody's dancing and everybody, where's she at? Like when you get your gifts at dinner, where's Dez? I, I don't know. Dez was riding a horse yesterday. I ain't seen Dez since. Al and Austin out there. I'm wondering if they got replaced by Shane, replaced by Jane and um, what's his what's their name, Greg and Shane. <clears throat> I saw this give her give her gifts. I got, I saw her gifts. I'm just saying, where was she? Oh, she had a host thing. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay. Cause I'm about to say, where did where did my girl go? Where did my girl go? Okay, so we'll we'll take that. Thank you. I love when you guys inform me. You know, this is a give and take. If y'all didn't know. Oh, she gonna be in B more. Y'all gonna see Des Dior. All right, let's go on to our next hot take. That was two. Um, my next hot take. I don't have any pictures for it. I hate that this thing is doing this. I don't think I could get my fucking green screen back. Whatever. That just blew me. I really wanted to go back. It's not giving me the option to do it like I got. Uh. Anywho, okay. So, Jeannie Mae is pregnant. Right, 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 right. Which, I'm happy for Jeannie Mae. My eye roll is not about Jeannie Mae being pregnant. It is about the response to Jeannie Mae being pregnant. Okay? Sometimes you may not want kids. Sometimes some situations are not made for you to be having kids with people. Which, some of us could have took heed to that earlier. <laughs> you know. Speaking for the girls. And, um. Bitch. This mic is really trying me. <laughs> I'm a little under the influence, but no, for real. Okay, let's try the green screen one more time. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm so dumb. All right, so with who? Okay, so the with you was in small print, period. So Asian lady is, I'm not Asian lady. The Asian lady from the real is. Jamie May. I don't know if she's Asian. But whatever. Um, so long story short, there was this whole scandal because when, she, when her and her ex-husband's divorce finalized, he popped out with a pregnant girlfriend or whatever. And it was like almost time for her to have a baby. And the divorce had just finalized like a month or something before that. So long story short, for some reason, these people feel the need to comment on Janie's pregnancy. The woman, y'all stop, you know, I'm a little high, you know, a little just... So, the freaking, the woman comes and comments, I don't even know if it was on a neighborhood talk, she commented somewhere and was like, Janie has put out this false, um, false narrative that they were cheating um, that he was cheating and all this other stuff, um, because she had the baby or whatever. And I don't know, the, the ex-husband was commenting that he got rid of that trash. He's not upset. Oh, you guys are really, really, really upset. Now, ma'am, I'm unsure why you're upset because you have a baby by that man. That is merely not your business what his ex does. I mean, are you mad because he's mad? What's going on here? I'm not sure exactly what the girl got out of saying anything. Maybe because people were saying, oh, yeah, she bossed up on them. <sighs> Shut up. Um, everybody smokes marijuana. Um, I don't know why, why the ex-husband or the girl felt the need to say anything because I just feel like if you don't care, there's no need to say anything. I mean, who cares what the people are saying in the comments? Who cares what, you know, 
anybody is saying about it. What's the ex-husband's name? You want me to tell you? I mean, he, I don't, I don't know his name. But the way Jeannie was adamant about not having a baby with him, it's just like, what? Freddie Hartis. They were married from 2007 to 2018. I'm crying that I think it's Hunter because y'all just... <laughs> Y'all just throwing out any type of name. That's wrong. <laughs> okay. Boom. So let's move on. Next hot take. So, yeah, I have a lot of stuff in this phone. Bear with me. So, boom. We not getting to this, this, this right now, now, now. But. Lil Baby and Lil Dirk had two shows in LA. They brought out Nicki Minaj on the first night. Crowd goes crazy. Me, I would have cried. Not even gonna lie to you, I would have passed out. Because, oh my God, no the fuck. It's Nicki Minaj. I would have died. But. Mixed praises. <laughs> Mixed praises because she bought the husband and you know how people feel about the husband and all that other stuff. We'll get into that later. <laughs> so, I just felt like, what I got a baby on stage? <laughs> what I got a baby on stage? But if you, if you, if you want to take the baby everywhere, you know, even though we're supposed to be combating COVID. I have nothing to say about that. So, long story short, I just wanted to bring out that little baby, QC, Lakia, everybody was in on this whole Nicki Minaj bring out thing, right? 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 Are we forgetting Nicki Hatred? Are we forgetting Cardi B? Are we forgetting? Are we forgetting? So, long story short, I'm nosy. So, I went to P's following. He don't follow Cardi B. But he do follow Nicki Minaj. Now, if you're trying to get Young Miami unblocked, just say that. Just say that. I mean, what's going on? What's going on? It's a little mess in the air. Because they were all against Nikki at one point. Now y'all want to hang with the queen. What she said, corporate giants and machines that went against me, period. Very much labels. Very much clocked. Very much clocked. Anywho, moving on. Um... This is a DCT, and y'all can see. <laughs> I don't think I want to show. <laughs> I don't think I want to show. I think I'm going to pass that. Um, let's talk about this. When Drake said girls want girls, he was not talking about Michi and Kima. These are absolutely the two of the last people I want to see in a lesbian porn. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. It's that video. Somebody uh, DM'd it to me earlier today. I was like, oh, I'm going to edit to the show. But then I'm like, oh, I don't even want to edit to the show because it's fine. That's sad. But these bitches, Vaughn, Vaughn passed away and everybody lost their fucking mind. Like, are you guys insane? Why are y'all doing that and y'all have kids? And, the, and, and things on the internet last forever. A hundred bogs posted this. Your kids grow up. Mommy was kissing mommy. It's, why would you do it? Why would you do it? 
I mean, kissing another bitch, oh, okay. Kissing you, 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 your, your, your child sibling's mom, all right, now, now we got a problem. Houston, it's a little strange. I don't know why you would do this in the public eye. These bitches are thirsting for attention. Vaughn, please come get them. Why would he leave them behind? They absolutely have no guidance. I don't know. I don't know if the internet attention is getting to them because once all that drama happened when Vaughn passed and all this other stuff, you get what I'm saying? These bitches took off along with Kayla. I don't follow Kayla because my Twitter, my old Twitter, I have two deleted Twitters. Like, who does that? My Twitter is suspended. You get what I'm saying? So, therefore, y'all please my twitter is suspended you get what i'm saying so i don't follow kayla her twitter is private on my new twitter you get what i'm saying so therefore i don't know what kayla said but at this is one time i would agree with kayla because i'm sure she was going on them why would y'all do that that's nasty that's weird why are you being weird to me i hate it that type of grieving like uh, like all right now y'all just going a little too far like y'all hate it when asian said she talked to the fucking medium and that she was a uh, queen vaughn but now y'all doing all this type of shit i mean they was just beefing with each other i'm just really confused on what exactly led to the swapping it's giving me very much mono and that's all I have to say about that. Um, okay, so another hot take. Cash doll is pregnant. Woohoo! Oh, I got something to woohoo. I was like, oh yeah, I don't have a woohoo. <laughs> woohoo! Okay, so um cash doll is pregnant, which okay. Go Keisha, go Auntie. She's pregnant by um, Tracy T, which I didn't really know who Tracy T was, but apparently Tracy T has like older kids, like an 18 year old daughter or son or something like that. So you know what? Cash Doll's biological clock is ticking because Auntie Keisha do be lying about that age. Lie to you not. Strong 30, strong 32. I mean, 26. Cash doll saying she's 26. I'm 25. Cash doll was an adult around the Mazzani age. Do you know how old I was when Mazzani was out? 18. I know the fuck her and Mazzani wasn't 18. And, and, and Mazzani was lit then. This She's from Mazzani's old, old, old back in the day. Auntie, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta lie to me. But yeah, that biological clock is ticking. Get your kids while you can. Chocolate drop. She looked great. The editing and the picture was smooth, 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 smooth to the bone. There was no bone. She looked like a boneless chicken tender, a boneless chicken breast when you pull it out the thing at the grocery store. Yes, she did. But I loved it. I loved it. I appreciated it. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I'm irritated. I enjoy it so much. Her prom pics was given the 80s. Her prom pics was definitely giving my mom's, and my mom was born in the 70s. You've never seen a chicken tender like that. She was so cute, though. I loved it. All right, now let's move on. We're done, hot takes. We're not doing the DMVT. We'll do that in Close Friends. We'll DM. We'll talk. I'm not doing that on my show simply because I really be trying to, you know, like, keep a clean image. And I don't want the girls to storm me, even though it's on Twitter. But, you know, the girls be storming. And I really don't have time. Like, me, I'm such peaceful. Like, bitch, get into your spirituality, if you will. <laughs> Bitch, put me in close friends. Okay. Come on, you know what I'm I'm not talking about actual girls. I'm talking about the girls. You know who the girls are?
Align your chakras. <laughs> Align your chakras. Okay. Ready? Let's go. First T. Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. And there's no Nicki slander to be had, but you know I am an unbiased platform, if you will. What I do have to say is Nicki Minaj, she gonna prove her point, child. We get it. <laughs> we get it. You love him. You got your old boo from back in the day, K I S S I N G, or whatever. I've had enough. I am a true Barb. I am a true, 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 true through and through. Bar, but what you have in this life is your name and your character. It's getting shaky. It's getting shaky. Okay, so let's just let's just let's just go through. You know, I got bulletins. Okay, so. In 2019 on Queen Radio, Nikki addressed rumors about her husband, Kenneth Petty. This is about around the time where they moved to Cali. You get what I'm saying? They moved to Cali and... He has to register as a sex offender where he moves. He moves to California, uh, Los Angeles with Nikki and he, he did not register as he should have. So this brought on a case. Nicki Minaj speaks about the case on Queen Radio. She says something to the point of white is right when she's talking about Jennifer Huff. I guess saying that Jennifer Huff is white, she also goes on to say that they were in a relationship and they were both 16, which they were both 16, but Jennifer Huff says they were not in a relationship. Jennifer Huff is mixed, white and black, and she looks like mostly a black woman. We are going to watch a clip of her, but we are not at that point yet. Foundation. Foundation? Okay, so in 1994... Kenneth Petty was accused of sexual, well, no, of aggravated rape, I think. No, for first degree rape um, in 1994. So the, the story that I have read, which these documents are confidential. If you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that can get me those documents, I would appreciate it. Okay. So, um, there's word to be said about a knife, about her being forced to have sex with him at knife point. That is me giving y'all facts. It hurts me to say. But, long story short, I remember Tasha K first went on this tangent about this. And the girl had said that she hadn't spoken to Nicki Minaj personally, blah, blah, blah. Now, when she coming back and she's saying that Nicki Minaj did talk to her personally, that Nicki Minaj offered to move her and her family or have her and her family come out and talk face to face. She offered her several money compensations, like, you know, just trying to offer her money or whatever. I really have got to say that sometimes love ain't strong enough. <laughs> sometimes love ain't strong enough. Like, if you have something like that on your name, I'm sorry, Mr. R. I cannot, I cannot marry you let alone do anything else with you because now i gotta limit my comments on every post now every time i post something somebody's like oh was there with my husband somebody's like oh was there kids there oh i mean he's not a pedophile they were the same age but this sexual assault is wrong bitch that's just wrong and like the ex-girlfriend was posting some things about it. The ex-girlfriend who, like, had came out in the beginning of him and Nikki's relationship. And she was just like, she didn't know about it. But I'm just like, okay, how didn't you know about it? Like, is it a thing because Nikki's famous? But no, it's a thing because Nikki goes out and says that the woman's white and she's not white and all this other stuff. Now you have created a problem where there is not one. And the lady 
the lady said, okay, okay, let's go back to our books. <clears throat> so, she says that even though the charges were supposed to be dropped because she had supposedly recanted the charges when forced by a guardian, but then didn't go through with recanting the charges. I don't really know what how that went, but he served four years in prison for first degree rape. She's Jennifer Huff says when Nikki married Kenneth, she was worried about her trauma being revealed to the world, which then she says that Nikki did on Queen Radio. Hey, 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 let's, let's watch a clip. Let's watch a clip before I say more because this is. But y'all are saying Nikki should eat her food on this topic. She is. Nikki isn't saying anything about it. Nikki is just living her life, acting like this shit is not going on around her bitch i don't know I, I know she got a therapist because my anxiety will be up i feel like um, the actions that were that were taken um, in regards to this whole situation have put me in a different type of fear at my age now and it was it was wrong and i don't want to be afraid anymore so the only way not to be afraid is to continue, is to continue to speak up. Uh, Jennifer, I'm going to read because I don't want to make a mistake because this is an important story. Um, though Kenneth Petty first denied the rape charges, he was charged with first degree rape, subsequently pleaded guilty to attempted rape, and spent over four years in prison, according to the inmate records. Did you feel that justice was served? I, I don't think I thought about justice per se because I was still blaming myself okay. I thought it was something that I did or didn't do so I don't I don't think I thought about if I got justice I didn't I just knew he did what he did and he went to jail and I I had to leave my family, I had to leave my home, and I had to move away. So, yeah, I never really gave it much thought. How has this affected you emotionally over the years? In so many ways. Hiding <laughs> within mm -hmm. myself, living and surviving through insecurities, using them to protect myself thinking that if I don't look a certain way I won't attract a certain type of attention okay. and I've been like that my whole life Jennifer let's move forward when it was announced that Kenneth Petty was marrying Nicki Minaj what was your first thought about that news I was so afraid of being found out I was so afraid of being known as the person he violated and I didn't want that you know, it's Nicki Minaj. You know, it's Nicki Minaj. That the fuck it is. That. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> that the fuck it is. I didn't even hook up my mic. You know what? We not even. Huh, we haven't talked about difficulties this show, but it's a good show. So fuck that. Um, <clears throat> Back to my eulogy. back to my eulogy she has you know the barbs go hard so i'm not she probably has been getting death threats super threats period threats obsolete threats i don't like this nikki has to understand that we understand that she wants to show us that she is the queen of the industry. She can do what she really, really wants to do. But now it's a little too much. Like, I, right, we want you to be in love. We want you to have babies. We want you, you, we want you to retire. We want you to get, get your, get, get your thing going, Nikki. But this man, divorce him. Hashtag divorce him. Hashtag divorce him. Hashtag divorce him. I, you, 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 I don't see any other way. I don't see any other way. And if he knows that he's supposed to be 
registering as a sex offender, where he moves, where he goes, then he should be doing that. That's why the feds picked up the case now, because you can't just do what you want to do. And just because Nicki Minaj is Nicki Minaj doesn't mean she can do what she want to do. And that he can do what he want to do because he's attached to Nicki Minaj. It life don't work like that. So yeah, we can all love Nicki, but let's 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 paint. Let's let's be real because when it's when it's people we know, when it's people we don't like, when it's people that are your your family members, yourself, etc. You're not hearing hearing everything else that's going on. So wrong is wrong, right is right. That man is wrong in any shape or form. Wrong for not registering as a sex offender wherever he go. Wrong for whatever he did to that woman. Okay? Okay? Because if you went to jail, you did it. So, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's not always the case. But let's, let's be honest in the case of sexual assault in the 90s. Black woman, black man. Okay, let's be smart, let's be smart. And that's just all I'm gonna say. And Nicki Minaj is here. You went through a lot with the hate train, etc. You knew that shit was gonna be digged up. You knew that shit was gonna be digged up. And that's just what it is. And y'all aren't gonna like this, but I'm gonna say Nicki's wrong for saying the girl was white because even if She's black and white. I can see if she was white passing. That woman looks like a black woman. She looks like she's on a Carol's Daughter commercial. Literally. So, I, she would wrong, she's wrong for that too. She's wrong for that too. Let's keep it a being, keep it 100. I'm biased. I'm giving you my honest op opinion as a person in the real world, as a mom, as a woman. And that's just that on that. Okay, so you come in here every talk about what's the tea about? What I'm talking about? What I've been talking about? I'm confused. Okay, so let's get to JT. All these niggas want to fuck JT, they do. Hey, okay, it's the SRP. Let's go, let's go. Pull up G Wax is three. Make a 55 suck they teeth. Okay, so boom. You people DM'd the hell out of me the night of that Baltimore show. I don't know where I was at, what I was doing. Maybe I should have been there so I could see this with my own eyes. But everybody was saying, oh my God, JT looks pregnant. Oh my God, JT's bloated. Oh my God, JT ate 600 McDonald's Big Mac meals and now she's getting pregnant. I don't know. I don't know what exactly is going on, but everybody was like, oh my God, she has on like a maternity nausea bracelet, which I've never seen in my fucking life. I thought they gave you pills for nausea, but I have nothing to do with that. Now, we had an impromptu Henny T and I told y'all there was word on the street that JT was pregnant. Some people say that her stomach was flat on a live with Young Miami recently. Some people say she be looking bloated. Maybe my girl has water weight. Maybe my girl's pregnant. Would you be surprised if she was pregnant? No. What are the city girls doing? Carisha is being a fashion girl. Carisha is eating your life. Eating your life. She said she wasn't pregnant. But Tay, Tay's, Tay's Instagram got deleted for posting something about JT. Or something like that. That's supposedly the word on the on the on the Instagram on the Hollywood streets. I'm gonna post show y'all another post that Tay made, 
And I'm gonna show y'all a tweet that JT made. Let me get, let me run down my show. Now, the the city girls, blah, 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 people was like, okay, maybe it's a PR stunt to get their your attention on the city girls. What's what's what the city girls will have to do to get my attention is make some more music, put out a motherfucking mixtape or something. I don't know. So long story short, let's look at this. Tay posted this on Snapchat of JT. And it's uh the emoji is weirdly placed over her stomach. But since pregnancy rumors are already on the rise, you know, everybody goes, oh my god. Tay's covering a belly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I do this shit. It just comes rumbling out. It's so funny. I just thought about it in a moment and I was like, what did you just say? I don't know. But um I don't care. I put this ponytail on. <laughs> I put this ponytail on and I don't care. I don't care. Okay, so Summer Walker said she wasn't pregnant. Bitches be saying they're not pregnant. And then they post out like cash doll looking like a butter pecan. So you just never really know. You just never really know. If she is pregnant, congratulations. Woo! To JT and Lil Uzi. I don't really know um, what more I could say about that. No, this picture is from Snapchat. There was another picture before this picture that they say was posted the day that Tay's Instagram got deleted. I don't know, but if this whole... JT need to kind of stay away from Tay because at first he gave her the box and then, you know, this whole pregnancy thing is going on from this stuff. I just don't care if the girls are pregnant. Cardi B went back to back, you know... Kylie Jenner's pregnant. It's just a pregnant time. COVID snuck up in y'all veins and got y'all real pregnant. And I love that for y'all. I love that for y'all. I just had two babies. I got a new goddaughter and my friend had a baby. You know, babies is everywhere. Good luck to you all. Welcome to hell. I'm just kidding. Not for real. Welcome to um, motherhood pop your bottle. You're going to need it. No, for real. Um, I don't think Tay and Jada are beefing. Tay did Jada's blonde wig that she had when she first went to Jamaica. Jada looks bomb. I don't care what anybody says about Wada. She looks good. And that's just that on that. Um... Now, let's talk about, what else do I have to say? Oh, this is JT's tweet. So, basically, she said, bitch can't even use emojis. Something, something, I let y'all rock. Because on some real shit, if I was pregnant, what y'all going to do about it? Blah, blah, blah. What she uses to control her nausea shouldn't be our business. Which is very true. It shouldn't be our business. Do you? <laughs> Do you? I have nothing to do with that. Honestly, if JT is pregnant or not, doesn't eat, you know, doesn't really matter to me. Great for her. Um, okay. Now, I feel like I got something on my shoulder. Oh, it's a boom. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cute face as fat. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm feeling like B on the bitch you ever had. Period. She be mad because y'all be clocking her tea. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. A hit dog don't holler. So that's all I ever am going to tell you. So here we go. Ari and Money Bag Yo. I love it, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what more to say. What they do is, what they do is they make y'all love them. And that's exactly what they do. They do what they're supposed to do. That 
is a wonderfully staged relationship. That's what, I'm gonna tell let me let me tell y'all what I didn't forget. Which I don't have nothing bad to say about Ari because Ari's doing her damn thing. I love Ari, blah blah blah. You know, love her. Um My girl said she needed a stylist for the V she missed another hosting. She was supposed to be going to the VMAs. My girl took this picture. I didn't never see my girls on my girl on the carpet at the VMAs, nothing. Then two days later pop up that my girl's sick, confined to the bed. You thought you was gonna skip past one to the Did you did you throw this did you throw this award agenda out here to distract us from the fact that you probably got some more surgery? Which people are saying that she got some bariatric weight loss surgery. My girl doesn't look skinnier to me, but you know what? That ain't really none of my being me. If she got that, I hope that it's working out well for her because I don't really know. So um, long story short, she was confined to the house. Her and your son was in the house, blah, blah, blah. And then she popped out a few nights ago at that Money Bag Goes concert. Yes, it is the girl in the background for me. So, that was nice. Um, I don't know what kind of surgery she got, but if it is a weight loss surgery, I don't see how. If something, her butt looked different. Y'all talking about what is she doing? She's sore. Why don't you let yourself fucking heal? Because she wasn't sick from no sick sick because she was not quarantined for 14 days. And she had several medications, and that is like some shit that you get from having a surgery. I don't see the difference. The butt looks like it has extra cuff, which she didn't need. It's nice when it flows all over the place. She didn't need extra cuff. It looks stiff in that video, but let yourself heal. Get a couple of massages, drink some tea, lay on your stomach, and calm down. Um, I love her. I do. 28 acres is a little much for a boyfriend and girlfriend of me. But you know, when you're a celebrity, what else the fuck do you do? So that's nice. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do with the piece of land. Whatever he does, hopefully it's lucrative and makes him some money. Because you can't do shit with no land if you don't put nothing on it that make you some money. Because, you, you know... She don't have her own land. I don't know why she bought him some land... She said, somebody said in the video, well, the realtor had a whole video, which I don't know why y'all don't see that this stuff is staged. A whole promo video for the realtor. For the realtor that sold you the land. A whole promo video for the realtor. Okay. Anywho, the realtor... She told the realtor basically when she came that to Memphis, she was tired of sleeping in hotels or something like that. So I guess it's to build him a house in Memphis. I don't know. It was a house right off the side of the land. So hopefully if he gonna if he's gonna build some type of house, he push it back or to the left. Because it was a house right here on the side of that land. I don't know if y'all watch videos, how I watch videos, but I be in videos. Like bitch, I be in that space. Like I was out there standing on that field with them because that's just how I feel. Um, so yeah, um, I just hope that when he puts something on that field, that he backs it up. <laughs> Make it a children's center. I don't know. That shit like it was in the middle of nowhere. Bitch, put some cotton down here. <laughs> some corn, some stock. I don't know what he's going to put out there for real. You can't put no shopping mall out there. That's not shopping center space. I don't really know what exactly he's going to do. 
Um, I don't know, but I do suggest that maybe they get married or something. Like the other baby mother comes around. <laughs> the other baby mother, they was taking pictures of her at the brunch that the mother threw. Oh my God, the brunch that the mother threw. I was like, this man is supposed to be some type of self-made thousandaire, right? And girl, it was so damn home, but I loved it because you knew granny did that. You knew mommy did that. So it was nice, but that baby mother was there. You know, the the first baby mother was there. Not juicy, but the first baby mother. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm glad to start seeing her with the family or whatever. Because, I mean, what you going to do? What, like, buying a nigga some land? Bitch, I will buy you an artificial Hollywood uh, walk of fame thing that you can hang in your room. There you go. There's your land. There's your sidewalk. Your piece of equity. <laughs> I will buy you a Monopoly board game, bitch. Get all, you get all the spaces. Look at all that property you own. You own a whole Monopoly board. <laughs> Who bring their kids to the rec center in the middle of nowhere? I'm, I've been to Memphis before, and Memphis ain't that empty. Like, Memphis got some central parts. So if you was going to build a rec center, you should have gave him some central area. That's all I'm going to say. If we don't never see nothing done with that lane, so, y'all like it. Y'all don't care. I put this hood on. I put this hood on. And I don't care. Oh, it's in his hood. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Bae, if you're ever looking for me to buy you some land in your hood, I'm fresh out. I'm fresh out. I got nothing. <laughs> if that's what my boyfriend wants, <laughs> Your fucking thought. <laughs> but I did. I did. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Okay, so I did what I did, what I did. I got one Zillow. And I looked up land in Memphis to see how much land costs in Memphis, right? And you could do like an acre thing. So I put in like 25 to 28. And I saw a 28 acre thing. Don't ask me why I go this far because I don't care. I don't care. I went this far because I want to see how much she spent on this 28 acres because I want to know how deep is your love? <laughs> how expensive is that heart? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all shut up. My job business. So, I don't think she paid for it. I don't. The The big D was empty. But I'm thinking, okay, maybe they had like a paper D and you just bring the big D for showing pictures. Because the big D was empty. And Ari in the video was like, yeah, look at that shit. Look at that shit. That's your D. That's everything for you. Da, da, da. And it was nothing on the big D. But that's not my business. Okay, so, moving on to how much... 28 acres in Memphis is. I don't know if it has anything to do with the area. I clicked on a random empty field. Okay. About $150,000. She's bought cars, bought him cars that have cost more. That's all I'm going to say. This stuff don't be, don't be my business. This is just for the purpose of the tea we sip. You get what I'm saying? Y'all want to see the video? Let me go.
But y'all have to remember that Ari had bought, had posted with a realtor and posted them and gave them promo before. And then she had another realtor and I don't really know, bought another. I don't think she doesn't pay for anything. I think that there is things she pays for. They scam good. I, I don't care what y'all say. PPP loan list. They scam good. So... She got to spend money on something. Where is the fucking lady? I'm crying and like she's she sold a bundle. Okay, here's the video. Y'all ready? <clears throat> Um, yeah, I kind of put the cup down for a minute, but um. Like that because I'm always sitting inside of a house or a hotel room. But um, I had a good time. It was a very, 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 very good professional experience. Me. <laughs> uh, good experience. It was so easy to work with, so helping, welcoming. And I wouldn't have chose nobody else other than these people to help me um, purchase my amazing property for my man. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, don't nobody hate her. I love Ari. Ari has made Moneybag Yo's career significant. Fuck what you talking about. If it is a PR relationship, I hope, I hope, I mean, I know that they really like each other, but the PR aspect of it, I know Ari is getting paid for some of this stuff because it's very PR aspect -y. She has made, how, how y'all really, really love Moneybag Yo right now, she has skyrocketed his career more than even him being with Megan, Stall Megan Thee Stallion did because people love Ari and Ari where Ari where Ari is attention goes just like Jada Wada. She very much, very much has him. It doesn't have to be a PR relationship in the sense that their feelings for each other are PR. It could have started out as that or they could have genuine feelings for each other. But a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff that goes on is promo like the fake breakups and stuff like that all of that is promo y'all keep forgetting he snatched her wig off her wig off her head in my in miami that girl i know that she has a vicious nda 
G Herbo could never snatch a wig off of Ari's head and she not say nothing. That's all I'm going to say. G Herbo should have been made her sign an NDA. He would have been better off. He would have been good. Y'all keep trying to, oh, you don't like Ari? No, I know. Facts are facts. Facts are facts. Here at Henny T, facts are facts. I'm not saying he haven't been up. People have liked his music, but social media wise, publicity wise, you wasn't posting money bag yo on your story. You weren't posting money bag yo on your story. I enjoy cute relationship pictures and shit too i definitely do all i'm just going to tell y'all is i be telling you i be telling you facts i don't lie to y'all i don't make shit up all i be doing putting the facts on the platter this is for the sippers can you please take this to the sippers table that's it don't come back me i don't want to come back with y'all i love y'all but don't come back me okay okay y'all know i'm unbiased i love everybody i love I love the people I should love, okay? I do. I do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you facts, tell you they're bad people. Nicki Minaj just dropped that husband. That's a bad look. what I say? Anybody knows when Nicki Minaj hate train was going on, if you was talking bad about Nicki Minaj, bitch, I'm unfollowing you because you know you had itty-bitty piggy on your motherfucking MySpace playlist. Don't play with her. You know you had itty-bitty piggy and I get crazy right after. Bitch, didn't slumber party right after that. You know you did. But what's wrong is wrong, what's right is right. Was facts is facts, was non-factual is non-factual. I don't know what is the opposite of facts. But that's all I'm going to say is that what I know, what I know, y'all know that I know what I know. And even when I'm wrong, I could have been right. So I'm still right because I could have been wrong, but I'm still right. That's the name of this show. <laughs> is that I'm right. <laughs> Oh, fiction. Okay. Fiction is fiction. Thank you, Miami. Look out for the girl. The only person that I don't love, will never love, wrong is wrong, banish him, R. Kelly. Put him out of their jail, throw him away, slam the door, put a lock on it, set it on fire, fumigate it. Literally. We all sing a little Chris Brown song and we shouldn't. I, I'm giving it to you raw. I'm giving it to you raw. We all do what we should not do. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got one minute and 53 seconds remaining. I love y'all. It was a great show. I have to go and watch this back because I know it was fucking hilarious. Um, cups are still on sale. Still more tickets to the Halloween um, party. Get in there, y'all. It's going to be so much fun. And I love y'all. If don't nobody love y'all, I love y'all. So if ain't nobody tell you that they love you today, you know that they already do. <laughs> you know that dolly do. I am going. I have to go. Because I want to lay down. I got a birthday dinner to go to. Then my child come home today. Got a lot of stuff to do. So. Without y'all, there be no me. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube. It's getting bigger and better. To the top. To infinity and beyond. To infinity and a TV screen. Love you. I go live on my page later. How about that? Live on my page later. And I'll save this. Sorry. Over and out.